I hope you guys are having an amazing day, Car Care Hacks here and in today's video I'll be talking about how to fix P0300 code in Nissan vehicles. The P0300 code in Nissan means that one or multiple cylinders are misfiring. When a misfire occurs, engine speed will fluctuate. If the engine speed fluctuates enough to cause the crankshaft position sensor signal to vary, the engine control module can determine that a misfire is occurring. The diagnostic trouble code will be set when the engine control module monitors the crankshaft speed and has detected a misfire condition. Most common symptoms of P0300 code in Nissan vehicles are engine light on, lack or loss of power, hard start and engine hesitation. The most common causes of P0300 code are faulty spark plugs, faulty ignition coil, clogged or faulty fuel injector, intake air leak, fuel injector's harness is open or shorted, fuel injector circuit poor electrical connection, ignition coil's harness is open or shorted, ignition coil circuit poor electrical connection, or insufficient cylinder compression. Here is how to fix P0300 code in Nissan vehicles. Step number one, check the spark plugs. Inspect the spark plugs for signs of wear, damage or carbon buildup. Replace any worn or faulty spark plugs with the recommended type and gap. Number two, check the ignition coils. Inspect the ignition coils for any signs of damage, corrosion or poor connections. Replace any faulty ignition coils as needed. Step number three, check for clogged or faulty fuel injectors. Inspect the fuel injectors and their operation for clogging or malfunction. Use a fuel injector cleaner to remove any deposits or consider professional cleaning. Step number four, check for intake air leak. Check the intake manifold and associated gaskets for any leaks. Repair or replace any damaged or deoriented gaskets or components causing the leak. Step number five, check the electrical circuit of the fuel injectors. Inspect the wiring harness connected to the fuel injectors. Check for any open or shorted circuits and repair as necessary. Step number six, check the electrical circuit for the ignition coils. Inspect the wiring harness connected to the ignition coils. Check for any open or shorted circuits and repair as necessary. Step number seven, check for cylinder compression. Perform a compression test on each cylinder to measure the compression levels. If low compression is detected in any cylinder, further investigation is required to identify the specific cause. Thank you so much for watching, make sure to like, share and subscribe.